All right, I'm back. I mean, it's not a, a terrible solution. It depends how they're getting hacked and why and what's going on, but still, no. Terrible. Just makes me angry. Because <laughs> they have all this awesome techno babble that, like, could be legit, but. Oh, sad. Just. Just sad. Just sad. It's bad, man. It's bad.
It's weird, right? It's weird. That's not all I've ever written. All right. Uh, set to note. <laughs> That's where we're at in the story.
<laughs> it is what it is, you know. It does bring into question sort of and why I linked that article in the first place on, on hacking and movies is that like how do I depict how do I depict to the viewer what's going on on the screen like how do we know it's it's a stream how do we know that he is streaming like things like the webcam light and stuff like that are important indicators visually of what's going on. So here I wrote the screen goes black, but I wonder if that's very like, that feels like a very unrealistic thing to me. That's not a DDoS. That's a power outage, which is a much different problem. Right? Like, so It's an interesting conundrum of, you know, being able to communicate properly, but at the same time, well, why and what aren't, aren't really important, to be honest. The whole point is that he does. probably watch Black Mirror period <laughs> but yeah and then it's like things like Well, yeah, for sure. For sure, Tiff. Like, that's exactly what I was thinking. But it's one of those things where, is that something that you'd be able to see properly? I suppose by, by zooming in on the screen itself, you could probably indicate something like that. But, yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, he's a boom streamer.
mean, totally. But, in the same vein, uh, still think it doesn't matter. I think that'd be a little too on the nose. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I'm the entertainiest, come on. I'm the entertainiest, come on. Well, we're getting another 15 minutes or so done, and then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, so I'm going to go do a bunch of stuff that I just want to do, you know?
There's a Sailor Moon nothing in the corner. You are incorrect. That's been there for like an hour. I'm still workshopping this sort of thing here. It's not Sailor Moon. God. No, it's cause it's cause Sam said that Wing Zero was the most anime Gundam ever, and that's just not true. <laughs> I mean, can you get more anime than a sailor suit Gundam? Because that feels pretty anime to me. Reported to Twitch cops for what? Oh, for excessive anime. I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, G Gundam is the most anime Gundam by far. Um, <laughs> it uses um, so G Gundam is a world uh, tournament fighting Gundam series. where um, all of the colonies send a representative to Earth in order to fight it out and determine something. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to determine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the colonies are named Neo something. So like, yeah, Neo Sweden... 
uh, Neo France, uh, Neo Japan. And it's all full of terrible anime stereotypes of countries. <laughs> And they, uh, all the fight, uh, the, so this is the only Gundam in which you don't actually pilot a Gundam. You are in this crazy, um, I'll see if they have a picture of it. Where are you? Come on. Shiny Gundam. They have a picture of, yeah, okay. Oh no, it's it's bad. So they wear these crazy like rubber suits with with like pointy things out of the shoulders, and they fight on like a holograph holographic platform, using actual physical moves to control the robot. There are no joysticks. No, well, sort of. It's like a depiction of the cockpit. Also, uh, they have, they use, um, they use little fighter jets in order to fly up and attach to the back of the Gundam. But it's great, because, like, uh, like, this is the French Gundam. And, uh, here's Neo-Norway's Gundam. And it has a boat and heat oars. Um, where's Neo-Mexico? Oh yeah, you're gonna hate every single Gundam here, man. Like, totally. Uh, so that's that one. Where's the Canada one? Ah, here we go. So here's uh, Neo Canada's Gundam. It's a lumberjack. Uh, I do. I have a couple of them, but not these ones specifically. I have a Noble Gundam that I haven't made yet. That's one of the ones that's sitting over there. I have a Shining Gundam, which is uh, this one here, which is the Neo-Japanese one, which is basically the most basic Gundam I've ever seen, though it does do a really cool transformation thing. It turns gold sometimes. Uh, what else we got here? Neo Africa's Zebra Gundam or Neo Kenya, sorry. Is there a German one? Yes, there is a German one. Which one's the German one? Uh, it's this one. No, this is near Russia, sorry. I thought there was a German one. I know that Maxter is New America, which has a football helmet and boxing gloves. And six shooters. <laughs> yeah. That is Neo Germany, which is awesome because it looks like a Nazi. <laughs> supposed to be a ninja.
Neo Denmark gets this guy. New India gets the Cobra. Can transform into a snake. New Portugal gets this jester looking thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. New Egypt. That's one of the new Egypts. There's another one. There's a couple different feral versions. Uh, what was this one? Uh, there's a few that are only shown in like pictures and stuff. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's that mammoth. This is the Neo Hong Kong. Neo Greece with their Zeus Gundam. Neo England. I think that's supposed to be like an English guard hat. <laughs> so uh, where is it which one was it? oh Master Gundam right Master Gundam was it Master Gundam no where are you oh yeah Funsaki here you go so there's this like the Gundam uh, the Master Gundam and God Gundam which are the kind of like two endgame Gundam sort of thing. Uh, God Gundam being the upgrade that Neo Japan gets. And uh, this is the one that the bad guys get is, is the Master Gundam. So the Master Gundam rides this horse. It's like a horse and uh, horse and chariot they got going on. <laughs> Neo Malaysia is that skull and uh, <laughs> Neo Spain. You know, Nepal with their Mandala <laughs> Gundam. Uh, that thing's terrible looking. You know, Singapore. You know, China. Anyway. There you have it. Oh, yeah. It's craziness. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying it. It just goes. It's the most ridiculous Gundam series by far. Like, it just, it just gets bad. It just gets bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about these.
Look, look at that. Look at that, Sam. It powers itself using the little heart chain thing. Well, you know, I love talking about Gundam, just in general. Yeah, you can't unsee him now. It's, it's too late. All these uh, death ones are the uh, <laughs> are, are the uh, Devil Gundam and Master Gundam sort of like entourage. I forgot about this one. <laughs> yeah, so Gundam is the series... Gundam... In, in a lot of ways, Gundam is the Japanese Star Trek. It's kind of the movie that, or the show that put science fiction really on the map in the popular culture. Uh, this is one of the later Gundams, but it still was before, uh, was still before Gundam Wing. Because the first Gundam came out in the 70s. Hey Gabs. Yeah, there's a franchise. So the first Gundam came out in 1979, and uh, the let's uh, organize it by year. Cool. So yeah, and then G Gundam came out in the early 90s, 1994, <laughs> into 1995, and, you know, like, this was kind of how anime was in the 90s. Uh, the next one they released was Gundam Wing, which is the most famous, is the most famous one in North America, with the exception of maybe Gundam Seed, which I didn't super love but wasn't terrible uh so yeah i have seen a lot of gundams <laughs> yeah i haven't seen any of the recent ones except for uh most of gundam iron blooded orphans which is fantastic by the way So yeah, that's a brief intro to Gundam. And yeah, like Gundam was so popular that it kind of spawned its own genre of science fiction in Japan, like the mecha genre. It's not the f a first mecha like 
show ever, uh, and I won't ever claim that it is, but it's the one that really put it on the map for people. Um, because, yeah. You know, it put robots in, in the military. It did things differently. Well, the Gundam series part was brief. The other part was not. <laughs> They're action figures, right? No, they are not. They are not action figures. You are wrong. <laughs> you can get models, though. The, the modeling industry around Gundam is very, very large. To the point where they made a show about modeling Gundams. In fact, they made more than one. <laughs> like an anime, an anime of a Gundam anime about ma about making Gundam models. There are several of them. They exist. So yeah. Yeah. Well, on that note, this is gonna be it for me for today, guys. Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to close her out. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, really, um, and you can say nothing about my bad taste, Sam, whatever. My name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. Um, just letting the chat catch up a bit. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's it for me today. Thanks for a good stream. We got some work done on the short story, or on the short film, sorry. Uh, I will be uploading the files and stuff. I'm getting caught up on the website, guys. I'm getting caught up. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, yeah. Have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. See you next week.